Barakat the Yahweh, Barakat the Yahweh Shai, all praises, honor, and glory be unto Yahweh, Bahashem Yahweh Shai, Bahashem Kakudash. A double honor to our apostles and elders at Great Millstone who taught us his truth and who rule well. Peace, love, say, taste, and mercy be unto the hopeful elect. What you see on the screen is from Google, uh, which I typed in uh, floods within Michigan. Uh, currently, there was two dams that collapsed within uh, mid-Michigan, which is the region that you see on the map, all right? And, you know, this is up near the thumb of Michigan, not too far from uh, Lake Huron, in a city known as Midland, Michigan, which there was a particular river that overran due to uh, heavy rain, so this is more of the judgment of Yahweh Bashmi Shai, you know, which um, they're talking about, you know, up to 42,000 people having to evacuate these regions. And they're talking about flood levels up to nine feet, you know, in which, um, you know, nine feet is enough to almost fully submerge, you know, uh, a small home in this particular downtown, you know, area of Midland and other regions surrounding it, they're saying that they would have to evacuate. So more judgment from Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, you know, which um, this weather in regards to, you know, storms and you know, you know, thunderstorms and, you know, floods and hurricanes and things of that nature is signs of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai visiting a place, you know, earthquakes, you know, and different things that happen, you know, here upon the planet Earth. Are These are judgments of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai in the which, you know, he said that he would visit this place, you know, according to Isaiah 29 and five, uh, 6. Thou shalt be visited of Yahweh of hosts with thunder and with earthquake and great noise, with storms and tempests and the flame of the devouring fire. You know, so it's Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai that controls these elements. It's Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai that controls the weather. It's Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai that controls what happens in the air or what happens in the earth. All right, he is the power that created all of those things. All right. He causes it to snow or he causes it to be a light rain or a, a, a great rain in so much to the point where it tests the infrastructure of America, which is horrible. And according to, you know, the grade in which these different dams are throughout these regions and zones, you know, in countries, you know, uh, counties and cities. All right. Their grade that they receive you know, within the world are D minuses, you know, or F's or C's in which uh, another brother did a lesson on it, a beloved brother here in the camp, you know, he brought out that information. But this is Job, the 37th chapter, verse 6. It says, for ye said to the snow, be thou on the earth likewise, all right, to the small rain and to the great rain of his strength. So this great rain of his strength that came down upon Michigan and the result of it was, it caused, you know, a, a part of the infrastructure to collapse, that being uh, the dams. All right, with Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, you know, he said that he would spread the worm under thee, you know, and the worm deals with uh, uh, decay. It deals with, um, you know, something being eaten up. And in this regard, you know, the infrastructure of America is being eaten up so bad to the point where it's falling apart, you know, and things that will normally be dependent upon to be strong is collapsing. Isaiah 14 and 11, thy pomp is brought down to the grave and the noise of thy vows, the worm is spread under thee and the worm cover thee. So the worm being spread under you the first thing that you that comes to mind is a, a person, you know, who dies. And what happens to a person that dies is that maggots or a worm begin to eat away at the flesh. 
to the point where there's no flesh left. You know, the body decomposes, you know, rigor mortis kicks in and uh, the body decays and the maggots eats away at the flesh rapidly. You know, another word for that is putrefaction. You know, and when you look up the word of putrefaction, bear with me. It says the process of decay, rotting, all right, the fifth stage of death following uh, parlor mortis, uh, agar mortis, rigor mortis, you know, and liver mortis are the process reference, the breaking down of the body of an animal such as a human or uh, of an animal such as a human postmortem, you know, so after death. So America is going through a stage of death. In regards to this place breaking down, you know, and losing its, you know, its strength is, is lost. You know, there's financial, you know, decay, you know, and the money that they are pumping out, you know, which they'll come up with different, you know, stimulus packages and, and things like that, you know, to give people. But they're not putting money into, you know, the infrastructure to build this place up, you know, you know, so this place is in desperate need of a healing. But they cannot heal this place and it won't be healed. All right. The, 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 the stages that this place is place is going through is a stage of death. And uh, another scripture, the book of Job, which this scripture isn't actually dealing with, you know, America, but it just gives you an illustration of how, you know, the body breaks down at the death. This is Job 19 and 26. It says, and though after my skin, worms destroyed this body. Yet in my flesh shall I see the Most High. And the, the name of the Most High Holy Father being Yahweh, all right, he's the one that's bringing all right, these different things upon the planet Earth. You know, he's the reason behind the strange weather. You know, he's the reason behind the earthquakes in diverse places. He's the reason behind the uproars and the, and the, and the wars of, you know, rumors of wars. All right, he's the reason behind the chariots in the sky. He's the reason behind the blood moves. All right, he's the reason that all things are going on in the earth. So this place is going through a process of decaying, you know, and being destroyed. And which in this scripture, you know, Joel was actually speaking about how after death, all right, within his flesh being reincarnated or resurrected, you know, that he would stand within his flesh and he would see Yahweh and he was he would see Yahweh shy. All right. But there's a process that the body goes through after death. And that process is there's a breakdown of, there's a breakdown, you know, of the body. You have parlor, parlor morris, or you have argo morris, you have rigor morris, and you have liver, liver morris. And then you have the fifth step, you know, which the body begins to decay, you know, and worms eat away at the flesh. Well, metaphorically that's what's happening to america and that's the reason why bridges are falling down that's the reason why dams are collapsing that's the reason why you know streets you know that you ride up you know are so damaged to the point where you can barely drive up them you know or even you know worse things in regards to huge sinkholes opening up and swallowing homes you know or swallowing car cars or swallowing people you know yahweh bashim Shai is judging america all right. And these floods that are happening in regards to these strange weather phenomena, you know, this is the Lord doing it. You know, he's the reason behind the tempest. You know, he's the reason behind the storms. He's the reason behind the rains when it rains, you know, whether it's a small rain or whether it's a great rain, you know, and going to this article, which is from CBS. All right. A brother sent this to me. It says Michigan Dam's failures force 10,000 and really. The number is up to 42,000 to evacuate and can leave one city under nine feet of water. So you can't say that this isn't the judgment of Yahweh by Shemiah Washai amongst, you know, this coronavirus pandemic and these famines that are getting ready to come. There's going to be strange weather phenomena. You know, people are going to be attacked by animals. They're going to be attacked by beasts and they're going to be attacked by others. All of these things being the judgments of Yahweh by Shemiah Shai to come upon, you know, the earth. All right. As he said that they would, according to the scriptures. Now, 
Ending on one last scripture. All right, this scripture is going to come out of the book of Sirach, the 39th chapter. And this is, um, you know, showing that Yahweh Bashim Shai is the reason that evils come upon the earth, right? This is uh, Sirach, the 39th chapter, verse 28. It says, There be spirits that, that are created for vengeance, which in their fury lay on sore strokes, and in the time of destruction they pour out their force and appease the wrath of him that made them. You got spirits that can cause, you know, a certain weather, you know, but they work for Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai on the right-hand side. You got spirits that can cause plagues and different calamities. All right, it says fire, hell, famine, and death. All these were created for vengeance. Teeth of wild beasts. You got spirits that can hype on wild beasts. It says in scorpions, serpents, and the sword punishing the wicked to destruction. So you got a spirit that will hop on people that will cause them to go on a rampage and kill multiple people. They shall rejoice in his commandment and they shall be ready upon the earth when need is. And when their time has come, they shall not transgress his word. Therefore, from the beginning, I was resolved. All right. Uh, Salakia. Let me see. There's a there's another one. That one fits, but there's another one as well. Dealing with uh, a flood. Let me see. Salakia. And that one is within the book of Sirach as well. And uh, let me see. Sirach 39 and 22. All right, it was just up a little bit high, uh, higher. It says his blessings. Uh, nope, that's not it. Give me just a second. I'm going to find it. All right, that's actually Sirach, the 40, 40th chapter. All right, which also goes hand in hand with the scripture that I just read. It says um, such things happen unto all flesh, uh, both man and beast. And that seven times more upon sinners, death, uh, bloodshed, strife, uh, sword, calamities, all right, famine, tribulation, and the scorch. These things are created for the wicked, and for their sakes came the flood. So these different judgments that are upon the earth in regards to calamities, you know, even though that the Lord isn't going to flood the whole world again by way of, you know, a great miraculous flood which was a wonder during that time because such things like that have have never happened before you know at that time it had never rained you know there'll still be certain floods you know and storms and tempests that people will be destroyed by that will cause calamities whether it be upon a person or whether it be upon their property all right these things are to come upon the earth all right they are created for the wicked you know as a form of judgment you know and you got people you know, Edomite people, the same people that were threatening uh, Jake, saying that Jake better not come up north, you know, into Michigan because of the whole COVID-19 thing. You know, these same people, you know, have to find shelter for themselves and places for them to evacuate. You know, uh, size 45 said emergency alerts then began coming on her cell phone and people started calling to make sure she was safe while packing. All right. There were tons of police and fire trucks going up and down the road. She added, as far as I know, all our neighbors go out while driving along Jam M30 or right, the state highway. That's the main road through through Edenville. And this place is called Edenville, you know, which means um, a valley of, of, of um, paradise. <laughs> it says in and crosses the river north of town. Saya saw the Russian Tatabawasi River, you know, which I'm sure that's a, a Native American name, which this land belonged to the Native Americans, which you either might stole, you so-called white people. It was very dramatic, very fast and full of debris, she saw, you know, which those Russian waters could kill people. Dow Chemical has activated its, its emergency operations center and will be adjusting operations as a result of current flood sta sta uh, stage conditions. Spokesman uh, Rachel Skakora said in an email, Dow Michigan Operations is working with tenants in Midland County 
officials and will continue to closely monitor the water levels on Tatabawasi uh, uh, River, Skikora said. In 2018, the Federal Emergency Regulatory Commission, FERC, revoked the license of the company that operated the Edenville Dam, Boyce Hydro Power, due to nine compliance issues and, and included spillway capacity, essentially an overflow valve, and the inability to pass the most severe flood uh, reasonably possible in the area. In its revocation proposal, Fierce wrote the boys had a long history of noncompliance and listed numerous offenses. All right, the commission primary concern, however, was Boyce's long, long-standing failure to address the project uh, inadequate spillway capacity, according to the FERC 2018 proposal. The spillway was only designed to handle approximately 50% of potentially flooding. Boyce failed to increase the capacity of spillways to enable them to pass the probable maximal flood PMF as required by regional engineer directives. Uh, FERC wrote and further warned that failure of the Edenville Dam could result in the loss of human life and destructive destruction of property and infrastructure. So as you can see, they knew that something was going on with this dam. And as you can see, this goes into Isaiah 14 and 11. All right, this place is dis decaying, man. All right, America is done. It's finished. All right, you know, uh, um, give the eulogy, man. So with that, I hope that this lesson was edifying. Until the next time, a shalom.